Hey there, how's it going everybody? Welcome back, Plant Abundance here. So I'm out in the garden on this December morning getting some chores done, and I thought I'd bring you along and share with you the seeds that I'm harvesting today. Hello there, Mei Mei. The chickens are enjoying this dry weather. Uh, it's hit and miss here in Northern California. Sometimes during this time we have plenty of rain, sometimes it's dry, so I like to take advantage of the weather when I can and get out here and get ahead of the game for next season. So this is the area of the garden I'll be focusing on for today's video. As you can see, we've got a wide array of plants all growing here in symbiosis. Right here I've got an autumn olive shrub, which produces an edible berry, and it also creates nitrogen fixation for the area to help feed itself and the other plants around here. Below that we've got some yarrow, and we've got some sage in its dormant stage. Here I've got some ashitaba, looking quite healthy. Appreciates this colder weather we've been having down to the mid-30s. Got some echinacea still surviving over here. And so we've also got a bit of a microclimate over here as my other echinacea plants have all but died back. Behind that we've got some oregano working as a living ground cover. And that's at the base of this macadamia nut tree, which has struggled a bit, but still has plenty of life left in it and is pushing out some new growth. And finally, at the back of all these plantings, we have the milkweed, which is the plant I'll be harvesting seed from today. Now, it's important to note if planting milkweed in your garden, you go with the proper variety. This is known as butterfly weed, or botanically as Asclepius tuberosa. There are several different varieties of milkweed, and some of them can become invasive as they spread through runners, but not this variety. And although it can reseed itself and create more of a thicket, it's not going to spread under the ground like these other varieties. Once established, this is a perennial plant that will come back year after year, and it's cold hardy in USDA zones 3 and up. It creates a beautiful orange showy flower that helps to attract beneficial insects into the garden, including the monarch butterfly, which is the reason many people grow this plant. The monarch will feed on the nectar of the flowers and then lay eggs, which will turn into the larva or a caterpillar, which then feeds on the foliage. But there's other species of butterfly as well as bees that enjoy this plant, which make it both a beneficial and ornamental plant to have in the garden. So the butterfly weed produces these pods which contain the seeds. Once mature, the pods will begin to split open where it reveals these white, silky, fluffy little carriers that contain the seed. These little fluffy balls are known as the coma, and they're easily picked up and carried by the wind to help distribute the plant. It's at the stage where the pods just begin to crack open that you want to harvest for the seed. As you can see here, each pod is loaded with many seeds. It's very easy to collect those seeds from the pods and in no time at all have hundreds of seeds for replanting. So I'm gonna be collecting some of this seed and saving it for planting out next year. I think this is a good plant to include in the garden in spaces that are not being utilized or may not see all that much water during the summer as this plant is drought tolerant and very easy to grow. Well, I guess that's going to do it for now. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Wishing you all a great rest of your day. I'll be talking to you again soon. Take care.